Today, we are going to break down how PaperX upset NRG with only a single strat. You are about to witness how a single, simple, yet unstoppable rush strat can open the doors to new strats that can topple even the best teams. This is PaperX versus NRG in VCT Masters Tokyo. We're in the lower bracket, meaning these teams are out of last chances. The loser of this match will be eliminated and immediately sent home. The stakes cannot be higher. There is no room for mistakes. The map score is 1 to 1 in the best of 3. This third map on Bind would decide everything. Let's see how these teams play when everything is on the line. Only an idiot goes into battle unarmed said some smart person probably. Every time you queue into Valorant, you're heading into battle, and you do not want to go into battle unarmed. Luckily for you, I've got a legendary weapon for you to wield. It's the ultimate stats tracker, Valorant Tracker. You enter Agent Select, Valorant Tracker is here for you. It'll give you key stats on your teammates so you can plan around them. The assistant will also show you your best agents for the map you're queued into. And when you enter your match, the live match career stats page will give you in-depth stats of every single player in your lobby. You'll be able to track everyone's changing stats throughout a match live. This will enable you to see patterns that others don't and adjust tactics accordingly to always be one step ahead of the competition. Did I mention that Valorant Tracker is completely free? Download Valorant Tracker today using my link in the description below. Thank you Valorant Tracker for sponsoring this portion of the video. It's the second half, NRG are up 7-5. to five. It's not a large round difference right now, but if NRG win this, it's going to be very hard for Paper X to close the gap. So Paper Rex need to win this pistol round if they want to equalize the score. And their pistol strat of choice? Paper Rex are all grouped showers. They're kicking this half off with a showers rush. NRG are not going to be ready for Energy are ready for it. They opened with a four man A stack. What a perfect read. We're about to witness an unstoppable force colliding with an immovable wall. The barriers drop, Paper X storm forward. They sky flash showers, harbor wall sight. Eliminated. Then on the team. Sky dog up, but they're met with a molly. Always been present. They've always at least earned that bronze medal. You gotta use the molly to stop the W King. Oh, oh, never mind. They're just going. Okay, go down. Looks like they can leave for one, but it's gonna be. He and Jing both taken down. NRG looking for another pistol round win to add to the scoreboard. CTRS finding one, but then just gets overwhelmed. Mind Freak, the late Lurk arriving. He's got that safe defuse spot coming through. The Classic is just not going to be able to do enough to really dissuade it, to really stop it. So they will just go ahead and hold it down. An NRG mow down Paper Rex, securing an 8-5 lead. And since Paper Rex will be forced to save next round, this means NRG will most likely end up with a 9-5 lead. Remember, the loser of this map gets eliminated and booted back home. This is not looking good for Paper Rex. Paper X know this isn't looking good, so they call to gamble on a force buy. If this works, they keep themselves in the game. But if they lose, then their chances of winning this game become close to zero. What's a strat that best utilizes these stingers? Luckily for Paper X, they came prepared with an answer. They open with 4 market, 1 short. NRG open with 2B, 3A. They're prioritizing long and showers control this round with only a chamber trip in hookah. NRG don't want to play in hookah. This is because they know they have the weapons advantage. So they want to take longer range fights while avoiding the close range fights that Paper Rex and their pistols want. But Paper Rex know Energy's line of thought, and the strat they have repaired is a perfect counter to that. The barriers drop, Paper Rex Brimsmoke U-Haul and Harbor Wall A. This is them showing presence A while denying energy info, threatening an A hit. But in reality, the actual hit is towards B. Crashy Sky flashes down B long. It detects someone. Artist confidently inches down long. He can do this because he has his chamber TP to get him out if needed. But Paper X have stingers. They don't plan on challenging long. They sky dog hookah, harbor wall the sight. This wall blocks energy's long player's line of sight. The dog clears sight. Paper X waterfall out of hookah. Jing double satchels to get a timing and spawn. As well as elbow. Wall comes in to try to block that one off. We're taking now, getting ready to swing it in front of it. <laughs> He's got to yes. cover and make sure he does it. Yeah, wingman going to be playing to Jing. Oh. Goes up hyper aggressively towards their spawn. Does manage to find one, but crashes. Up there, lap finds one, but as he tries to throw the pop flash, Dubai catches him swinging around the corner. 
be a massive response here from Paper Rex. And Paper Rex upset energy, winning their force by round. The relentless aggression from Paper Rex was so exciting. Jing's timing play and spawn, the triple peak elbow, the fast trades on site. Paper Rex are truly an unstoppable force. And it all began with the hookah flood. Because Paper X won their force round, the economy's in a wacky place right now. But all we need to know is that Paper X have actual weapons, energy are on pistols. Paper X are like, hey, the hookah flood worked really well. What if we just did it again? So Paper X opening with everyone market, just like last round. Forsaken and Mind Freak are going to throw their smokes towards A to fake presence just like last round. And just like last round, they're going to do the exact same strat to flood out of Hookah. But this time, Energy have Victor on that raise as their Hookah player. Will this change the flow of the round? For PRX to just... Victor got info that some Paper X players are outside of Hookah. He's alone and doesn't want to get run down, so he backs off to reposition. At that exact time, Mind Freak Brimsmoke say, this Brimsmoke denies Energy's site players info into short. They also Harbor Cascade U-Haw too for the same reason. But we know this is all just a fake. Paper Rex are all slowly working up Hookah. Wait, Finesse calls Paper Rex on their bluff. He's already rotating B. But will he get there in time? The execute begins. Jing Rumba's left. Nades the right. Device sends his sky dog in. Forsaken harbor walls the left of sight. Paper X rush forward. Victor responds with this nade. Backside. Nade's gonna be let out here from Victor. Looking for some damage. Jump up over the top. Jing gonna be taken down. And yes, CGRS. He does end up getting eliminated by that one. Forsaken taken low with the judge. Helping to find the kill. 9 HP. Picked up. Mind Freak. Instantly finds Som. And Paper Rex run over NRG. Just artist left in the 1v3. But he has his pocket guardian. There's still hope. Get anything done, the healing coming through, Devi. And Mind Freak, from a great off angle, takes down Artis. Man, Paper Rex's hookah flood looks absolutely unstoppable. Energy call a timeout. All right, the next rounds are by round. We need to make a count. What's been going on? They just jump out of hookah two rounds in a row. That sounds kind of brain dead. How is it working? Well, last round we actually got the first pick and the raise nade got the second kill, but the rest of the team just floods out right after. I don't think raise nade's enough to stop their hookah flood. Hmm. What if we shift Brim to B and have a Molly the drop instead? The Molly can delay for way longer than raise nade. That works for me. By the way, Paper X are one off Harbor Brim and Gecko Alt. Yeah, they're probably gonna want to contest the ult orbs. How about this? We put Brim B to slow down the Hookah Flood. We'll put Sky Raise B long to hold B long control and deny Paper X the ult orb. If they flood out of Hookah again, we'll just hold on to long control and they'll have no space in the post plant. Lastly, we'll have Viper Chamber contest the Shower Zorb and just trip short. Bet, and if Paper X end up going showers, we can just TP from long and pinch them. Sounds like a plan. Energy's got their game plan, but look at Paper Rex. They open with four towards short and one towards Hookah. They're avoiding Energy's B adaptation and hitting A, the weaker site. And they're all short, which is precisely the weakest part of Energy's defense. But Paper X are not going to just blindly rush in. They know their Hookah Flood is probably still fresh in Energy's mind, and they're going to abuse that. The barriers drop, Paper X Harbor Cascade A, smoke off U-Haul. Remember, they've done this fake smoke you tell every time they hookah flooded so far, except this round, they're actually A. But that's not all. Forsaken and Divide both group outside hookah. They harbor orb. Allowing all this harbor wall the site. NRG and they're gonna Sky Dog up. This looks exactly like the hookah flood, but it's just a fake. Towards A, Paper X launches their A execute. U-Haul control is theirs. Now Smokes is going to be dropped in. Teleporter can be used and there's no control for the shower side of the map for Paper X, so they can't really- Energy double TP from long. B site is completely open right now. Paper X can take the TP to B, but Lil Bro decides to plan anyways. All five players of Energy are ready to fast retake. Paper X have barely any space on site. Is this a blunder from Paper X? Or is it a genius strat to set up Forsaken for the flank? spot here from PRX. Thrash now at the ready, sending it forward, but doesn't even get close and is completely unrecoverable. Som was aware of the flank and picks off Forsaken. And off that kill, Som's orbital strike comes online. Hold forward, Forsaken gonna be spotted, killed in the back end. Orbital oh strike now infested. CGRS, Jing, both gonna be taken out. Mind Freak with one of his own, has to send the ult, the swing out from Finesse on the flank. It's gonna be Som who finds that kill. 
Pike down to the vice speed in a rough spot. Finesse will win it. And energy win the first gun round of the game. Wow, some winning that 1v1 in spawn was so crucial. The kill snowballed into a brimmolt, which completely roasted Paper Rex and Yuha, and the rest was history. But even though Paper Rex lost a round, their strat was still super solid. The threat of the Hookah Flood gave birth to its first variation, a Hookah Flood fake into an A execute. And that is just the beginning. Paper X open with 4 market, 1 long. A side didn't work last round, it's back to hitting B. It's back to the hookah flood. They also have their harbor ult this round to help with that. But energy have figured out the counter to that. They keep the same setup as last round. Sky raise long to hold long control, brim on site to molly the drop. This is looking dangerous for Paper Rex. Inside of U-Haul. So Crashy Sky Flash detects Paper X towards B, but Energy's B site is already their stronger site, so their A players don't rotate yet. Meanwhile, Paper X walk up Hookah. It's time for that strat again. They harbor wall the site, Sky Dog into Hookah. It's the Hookah Flood, baby! But the dog leaps into long and spots crashies. Paper X launches their harbor all garden. They stampede up long. This isn't a Hookah Flood, it's a long hit. The teleporter though by the paint shells and crashies caught with util in hand. For a second, it looked like he was going to be able to get out of there with his life. Jump up over the top, Sam. Going to be noted near the back of sight. Still, still though, does find the vibe. Jing will eventually take him down. 4v3 as the wingman gets the plan. Energy have two spawn, one flank for the retake. Paper X have two back sight, one shed holding elbow, and one hookah. It's the wall, just wants to try to get the rocket through, but in the end, not going to find too much. But it does buy some space, it buys some time, and finesse bites the dust. It's a 2v4, energy call to save their guns. But holy crap, that was a crazy round from Paper X. Last round, when they faked Hookah, they saw Som Brimali the drop. Then, they also heard Victor and Crashy's double TP from Long. So Paper X had an idea of energy's B adaptation. And to counter it this round, they faked a Hookah Flood. And once their dog confirmed that energy were doing a Long setup, they executed a Long Heavy B split. This is yet another variation on Paper X's Hookah Flood. As we can see, when you have a strat that's so strong, so effective, it can literally create new strats. Okay, so last round was pretty traumatic for energy. Their long setup got completely ripped apart. They have a feeling Paper X might hit long again, so they changed their B setup a bit. Victor and Som are both playing back sight. Crashy's playing passive long. They're going to let Paper X use all their util long and hookah, and then stop the execute at the chokes. They also realize that Paper X are a team that loves to just group up and rush. This means if Paper X show heavy presence B, then energy's A players can actually take advantage of that and get aggressive. So finesse and artists double up showers looking to seize showers control. As for Paper X, wow, Energy's read was on the spot. Paper X opening with 4 long, 1 market. The B long hit worked last round, they're going to do it again. But this time, they're going to hit B without faking the hookah flood. The barriers drop, Crashy sends his bird through the TP to flash showers. The flash gets nothing, showers control as Energy's. At long, Energy do their default smoke B long. This makes it really hard for attackers to push up long. Well, he uses it in a couple The sky flash detects Paper X. The first flash saw nothing outside showers. The second flash got people towards B. Energy are confident Paper X are heavy B, so Artist pushes out showers. He's taking so much space. But at the exact time, Paper X begin their long take. Both teams, Sky Dog Long. Right to this door on the right, to all the way to the elbow on the left. Stun on the crashies. Gonna back off full flash now on a victor as well. Paper X gets stopped by Energy's util. Part's working well. Call might be coming through to try to make sure. Oh, not like this! CGRS's Gecko Molly was taking back sight. But Ness rotated onto sight. But because he was behind the harbor wall, he actually couldn't see the Molly. And when he noticed that there was something green at his feet, it was too late and he gets one shot. That is so tragic. But it might not matter. Look at Artis. He pushed through all of showers and cleared short. He's holding the entirety of the A side by himself. Paper X are all contained towards B. Well, normally that'd be true, but Bind has a funny gimmick with the TPs that let Paper X TP to the other side of the map, bypassing the area that Artis already cleared. Back to Paper X's POV. Towards B, they already saw Sky Util, Raise Nade, Brim Molly, Finesse just died back sight. So Paper X know that there are three energy players B and one player, the Chamber, unknown. But it's safe to assume that Chamber's anchoring A from somewhere. Do they commit to the B execute? 
to hit the site they know is stacked? Or do they take the TP to A, the site with only a lone defender, but they have zero info on where that defender is playing from and the site that energy are probably playing for retake anyways? What will Paper X do? That's the back of sight. Mosh coming up with a kill. Heels being offered up by Crashies to Som to try to get him back to 100. Will be able to do so. It's three members from NRG situated here at the B site. Artist still waiting back in link to see if this rotation comes through to A. I mean, they're just going to try to brute force their way through. Flashes in. Victor noted, taken out. Jing now up on top of the box. He's trying to spot a pixel, trying to find a head. Will be able to do so, but it's going to be Som who finds a headshot, but it's quickly traded back. Forsaken. Getting revenge here for his fallen comrade. Now Artis, the last one left standing. Swinging out as Forsaken gets tucked away just outside the teleporter. Swings it. Forsaken takes down Artis to secure Paper Rex the round. Man, Paper Rex calling to force their way onto a stack site shows the PRX attitude. Just run at the enemies and kill everything you see. And somehow they're so good at that. Paper Rex tie up the score 9-9. Nine Last round, Paper X played it really slow. Yuck, totally out of character. It's time to go back to the Paper X roots. It's time to rush Hookah again. Energy are on a save, so they have Artis, the player with the strongest gun on the team, the Chamber Deagle, play Hookah. But will this be enough to stop the flood? Yeah, man, like he just looks like he's having fun. Artis situated forward. Headhunter around the corner, avoids the stun. He actually wants to jump back into this one, looks for the headshot, but CTRS actually draws his weapon back out a little bit too quickly. Swing out of the teleporter, and it's just absolutely stomped into the pavement there. As Victor can do nothing more. And Paper Rex flawlessly mow down NRG. Paper Rex take the round lead. Energy are like, Paper X have gone B for the past three rounds. Surely they change it up and go A now, right? Energy also have Viper ult online this round, so they change their setup 2B and 3A. They can play fewer players B because Finesse is going to Viper ult all of B long, which lets Energy stack the other site. Artists also bought an op this round. A site is going to be so hard to breach. But wait, it doesn't even matter because Paper X are all starting market. It's the Hookah Flood yet again. The barriers drop, Forsaken Harbor Cascades A. Of course, this is just a fake. Paper X group up outside Hookah and the execute begins. Harbor Wall, Sky Dog up. The dog spots crashes, but it doesn't matter. Jing double satchels out and the rest of the team floods out behind him. From the site, Orbital Strike does come through and cuts off the buy as well as Mind Freak. Jing gets a kill all the way in spawn once again. How does he keep getting away with this? Stranded as the plant comes down back site. And this is completely and utterly out of their control. They're leaving, they're done. Yeah. It's a 3v5 energy call to save. A massive round from Paper Rex to find a win despite energy investing two huge alts. Man, energy setup looked so strong and yet it crumbled in the face of Paper Rex's rush. The Hookah Flood is invincible. Paper X is one round off match in series point. Match point for Paper X is also elimination point for NRG. Also, NRG used up their entire life savings to buy this round. If NRG lose this round, they're going to be going into their elimination point broke. This is a round NRG cannot afford to lose. NRG finally realized that Paper X's entire offense revolves around their hookah flood. If they want to shut down Paper X, they need to stop the Hookah Flood. But the problem is that Paper X are too fast, too good at it. Energy can't stop them at the drop. But then they have an epiphany. Since stopping Paper X at the drop clearly hasn't been working, what if we stop them before they even get into Hookah? So they have Finesse places Viper Utility at the Hookah Choke while also holding close with Raze. Energy are determined to shut down the Hookah Flood. No, they have to. 
But wait, crashes in some are also B. NRG are four stacking B this round. What a wild call. Normal teams would be hesitant to gamble stack in such an important round, especially after PaperX literally executed B four rounds in a row so far. But NRG remember round 18, where PaperX just forced their way onto the stacked B site. From that, NRG gambled that PaperX are the type of psychopathic team to hit B a fifth time. And the read is right. Paper X are all grouped outside B, and Paper X also have Gecko Alt and Harbor Alt ready to go. This collision is about to be explosive. The economy pretty much from here on out, unless you start a very long streak and overtake them. So much money banked up by Paper X. Oh, look at the, look at their stack here at B. They're, I mean, it's just been B over and over and over again for Paper X. So now you're gonna try to just. Out to them. Hit him. Just trying to play safe, but the flash connects. He doesn't check back. Dubai doesn't look for it. He's just so hungry for the kill. He ends up falling. Some with a headshot now. Cuts up Jing. That's going to be the Garden Access taken away from them. CGRS as well. Fallen. The spike now. Down to the ground. Mind Freak and Forsaken. The last two left standing. As Artis's participation, not necessary. They will find him in the smokes. And that just leaves Forsaken all on his lonesome. Grab it. I mean, notes the hefty presence here on B. Figures, you know what? Maybe if I can kill the one, maybe two guys that are over on the A site, I could have an opportunity. Surely he can't do it again. <laughs> Surely not. And this is kind of the... Be something magical if he could, but... There's a... Energy have done it. They have finally conquered Paper Rex's hookah flood. Okay, so PaperX realized that they finally pissed off energy to the point where energy stacked 4B. Maybe it's time to start working A now. But that's when an uncomfortable feeling hit. PaperX have only gone A twice in this entire game, and they've lost both times. They were so drunk on the Hookah Flood success that they never got the chance to figure out how to succeed on A. That is the cost of only winning towards B. But last round was a wake-up call for PaperX. They realized they can't win this game with only half the map. If they want to win, they need to learn how to win on A. And they need to learn fast, because we're in the 11th hour of this match. The single step to match point never seemed so large. PaperX open with 4 short Sky Market. They're going to have Divai show presence towards B at the start to mask their execute towards A. As for NRG, now that they've shown that they can shut down PaperX's Hookah Flood, they open with a more standard spread of 3B and 2A. At B, Finesse is holding the Hookah Choke with all his Viper utility. Victor and Crashies are locking down long. Towards A, Artis has an op and he's aggressively positioning up short. Som is going to jiggle to bait a little for Artis. Chamber Trip outside showers. Through the trials by fire throughout this match, this is the optimal setup energy have landed on. Both teams have their game plan ready, and round 22 begins. Artist walks up short, posts up on an aggressive angle. At the same time, Device sky flashes hookah and tanks energy's long flash. Presence is definitely shown B. Device starts running back to regroup with his team short, but Paper X are about to run right into Artist's op. Will they expect this? <laughs> Just let him fly blind. <laughs> If this gets tied up, I do expect to see it again, but they are wary about this. Artist gets forced back by the dog. Paper X's A execute begins. Teleport back, so Ronnie Boo in the back of lamps. That's gonna send Artist rotating potentially to try to get to heaven. Looks like, yeah, that is gonna be the case. The Boombot spots one of the back side, so I'm gonna be noted. Wingman plan. Crashy scouts from spawn, but Jing is a maniac and swings into NRG. He mugs Crashy's and escapes into U-Haul. Som can't believe the robbery that just happened in front of his eyes. He chases after Jing to trade. Be able to see too much of anything. Jump around the corner, Som with that shorty will find one, but then Forsaken counter swings to take him down. The fight into the corner. NRG gets slaughtered in U-Haul. Artis is still posted to heaven, but no one is peeking him. Victor and Artis left standing. No reason not to play for it. He'll have that tour de force at the end of this all, but Divai finds Victor Forsaken, takes him down. And that is match point for Paper Rex. That was such a smart post plan setup from Paper Rex. They knew Som didn't have his brim malt, so they play a triple U-Haul setup. One short, one showers. Notice that no one is playing out in the open. This means Artis, who was posted to heaven with an op, couldn't get anything. NRG was essentially down a player during the entire retake, and after locking down U-Haul, PaperX win the round to secure match in series point. 
with Paper X at match point, just one step away from eliminating NRG from Masters and sending them back home, NRG have zero room for error. Both teams need to play perfect this round. Paper X opening with four market, one short. Paper X have finally shown they can win towards A. Now, to end it all, they call to execute NRG with a final hookah flood. NRG opening with 3B, 2A. Viper hookah, sky rays long. This is NRG's answer to Paper Rex's hookah flood. Chamber and Brim holding showers with a trip short. We've seen both these openings before. The meta in this match has ripened. It now comes down to execution. The barriers drop, Forsaken Harbor Cascades U-Haul and Brim Smoke's top truck. The smokes deny info towards A, while the actual hit is towards B. Storm calls that he sees smokes, but no hit yet. NRG need to find out what Paper X are up to, so Crashy Skydogs down long. But Paper X are all grouped outside Hookah. The dog clears fountain. Victor falls behind the dog. Paper X no energy just cleared long. With Forsaken regroup now, Paper X begin the execute. Paper X. Trailblazer out of long. Now into Hookah, Poison Orb comes through, Finesse clears it rather quickly as Victor gets around the back, puts some damage down, but doesn't want to overstay his welcome. Victor doesn't want to overcommit and backs off. Paper X are all stacked on top of each other like a herd. It's getting hard to breathe. Neither team wants to be the one to make that first mistake. Since Victor saw Paper X running towards market, plus the fact Paper X haven't made any noise after that, Crashies begins rotating A. But Paper X are still outside Hookah. Finesse's Viper Smoke Hookah drops. Paper X called to silently contact into hookah. A bit of a shift towards A, but as we can see, they're still looking at Finesse spots Paper Rex. He puts up his Viper Wall to delay. Paper Rex all start running away while planning to via hookah to lurk. Crashies, who is on his way to B, does a double take back to A. But Paper Rex was just faking it. They're regrouping back B again. And the read is right. B is energy's weaker sight. No way. Look at Finesse's positioning. He's playing in an off angle under hookah. Usually, when you're playing weak side, the two players want to either play together and hold an area of the map to make your team's retake easier, or the two players just play for info and then play for retake. So what Finesse is doing right now is the opposite of the textbook play, almost taboo in pro play. But Energy have not played in this spot yet all game. It's a high risk, high reward gamble during the most important round for NRG. If Finesse fails to get at least one from this spot, then this decision will be what single-handedly loses NRG the game. That high tide yet, back up for Forsaken, so wait a little bit. Oh, that's no. to come into play. Yep, they just cut noise. They pull back. Oh, Finesse gets himself into a cheeky position, though. Just outside of the window. It's Victor. Okay. Spotting one. Rotations can now begin, it would seem, from the side of NRG. Finesse. Victor going to be blinded up. Finesse, however, still have energy to find three as they drop in. Finesse gets three. The rest of NRG TP across the map. Finesse strikes. It keeps their hopes alive here in the round. The teleporter going to be taken. Jing. Ooh. Just swings back through. 2v3, as Paper X try to stay in this. And now trying to finish this. Jinx got the showstopper now. 10 seconds left. And he does, but 41 HP. It's such a small window. No margin for error. Is the trademark going to be cleared out? Oh, my freak out into the open. Finds one. Looks for Artist. Puts him down to 27, but now it is all on Jing to be the finisher. Him. And Artis finishes off Jing to bring NRG to overtime point. But it all started with Finesse rising to the occasion when it matters the most to save NRG. And now, hope is alive for NRG. It all comes down to the next round. It's over. The glory days of Paper X's B abuse is over. NRG have successfully countered them. Paper X are faced with the realization that they need to move on. So far this match, Paper X have hit A a total of only three times, and they've lost two out of those three times. A site is still a big question mark for them, a shot into the unknown. But look at this, Paper X have two game-changing ults this round. So with two nukes under their belt, they call to bank everything on an A execute. But NRG have the read. They just obliterated Paper X towards B. So this round, they only keep the essential pieces to countering Paper X's Hookah Flood B, the Viper Utility Hookah, and the Sky for Long Control. But now, NRG have three players starting A. Both teams have a feeling that A site is where this match will be decided. As his orbital strike behind this, Paper X, Spin Beacon down, after grabbing the orb, showers. So far, just kind of taking their time, and they're going to use this. Oh, doing rockets coming through. Not fighting anything, though, is Jing, but as he gets to the top of the box, still will find Victor, but it's going to be a massive trade-up. 
Energy starting things off with two, but now equalized. The buy catches some. The plant still not coming in. Artis instantly headshot. Mind Freak finding it. There's two more left to go. He's playing anti-flash, and now it's on for this. The IGL, the captain, to try to take us in OT. 